20 years ago today, the police shooting of an unarmed black man during a traffic stop sparked riots that consumed St. Petersburg. Decades later, the family of Tyrone Lewis claims justice was not done. News Channel 8's Jamel Linnea joins us now live from the intersection where Lewis family and members of the Uhuru movement spoke today. Hi, Jamel. Well, good evening, Josh. You know what, 20 years later, friends and family, they say they still want charges brought forth in the shooting death of Tyrone Lewis. We're going to continue to still fight. That's it. 20 years later, Tyron Lewis Jr. says he wants justice for his dad. He was gunned down by St. Petersburg police officers. Today, Lewis's family, along with members of the Uhuru movement, spoke at the intersection where the shooting happened in 1996. I never thought that I would um, be growing up and then a few 18 years my brother is killed in the middle of the street. 40 some people witnessed him being killed and the officers, they still got found not guilty. On October 24th, Lewis was pulled over for a traffic stop by officers James Knight and Sandra Minor. Witnesses say Officer Knight stepped in front of the vehicle and fired shots through the windshield when the vehicle started to move. The shooting sparked an uproar in the black community, putting St. Petersburg in the national spotlight. A grand jury deemed the shooting justified. Officers Knight and Minor are still with the department today. We can never forget Tyron Lewis, and neither can the police. They have to know they're going to turn on Tyron Lewis Avenue. They have to have Tyron on their mind every day on their route to work, on their way to get dinner, and on their way home. We will always fight for justice for Tyron, for everybody that has been killed. Now, there will be a candlelight visual to happening here tonight at 7 o'clock. And then following that visual, the Uhuru movement planned to put a street sign up with Tyron Lewis's name on it. Josh. Jamel, what about the city or the police department? Uh, what are they saying about all this? Well, I've reached out to Chief Holloway to ask him about this uh, shooting death that happened 20 years ago. He preferred not to comment on it. I've also reached out to city, city leaders to see if they will eventually uh, plan to take that sign down. Josh. All right, Jamel and A live for us in St. Petersburg. Thanks a lot.